Hey, it's Metal Matthew coming at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to change the art on my Kwama Q4 RIF uh, arcade fight stick. Now, I already did this once and I'm going to do it again for a couple reasons. I got a new camera, I want to test it out. I got a um, new ed editing software. I have other videos up, but they're in parts, so I'm going to try to do this all in one, all in one video so uh, it's easier to, uh, to view it all at once. Uh, and plus, I'm just wanting to change the artwork anyway. This is a fairly, you know, simple and standard mod, so uh, it'll, it should go no problem. Like I said before, this, like any other mod, uh, is going to void your warranty. So if you're worried about that, I would just stop the tape or stop the video now, and you know, uh, don't proceed with it. But if you already have it in your mind that you're going to change the art, you're going to void it anyway. So, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's a simple mod, easy to do. Another thing I would suggest is before you, uh, you open it up, make sure everything works, you know, up, down, left, right, and all your buttons here work. Um, that way, if you're still on a warranty and it doesn't work, it's a lot easier to get it replaced than um, if you already open it up. So we're going to get into this and try to make it as uh, short and, and as and informative as possible. So, here's the stick, like I said, I already changed it once, and now this is a, like I said, this is a Quamba Q4 RF stick. I know I've done this to a Mad Cats SE stick, and uh, a TE stick for Mad Cats, is, I know it's got to be really similar. Uh, anything else, uh, like a, if you got a Hori or an Adark or something else, I haven't had my hands, I haven't got my hands on any of those, so I can't say for sure. It would. It's going to be a hundred percent the same because uh, it's. I mean, it'll probably be similar, but it might not be fully the same. Once you get into it, it should be the same. The only um, issue you might you might you might have. I saw somewhere that the buttons were actually soldered to the motherboard. If that's the case, it's uh, a little more involved. Fortunately for me, the sticks I haven't played with have the quick connects, so it's easier. So. Let's uh, let's flip this over and show you how to get into it first. So for this Quamba, uh, there are there are eight screws in here, which I've already taken out, but they're uh, they're located here, here, and there's two here, there's two more here, and then two more here. And if you look right here, that's where the warranty was or warranty sticker was, and I've already uh severed it so uh, once you get all the screws off it looks like this and another note helpful tip I guess would be to mark the buttons uh, before you disconnect the wires because that's what we're gonna have to do to get the plate off and if you notice I got I the all the wires are color coded to correspond to the button that goes to the PCB it also is on the circuit board right here, which I don't know how I missed that before, but uh, but like I said, I just went ahead and just marked on the case itself. That way it's a lot quicker. You could just write it down. Uh, if you wanted to change your stick itself, uh, you can take off these mounting uh, screws. And I found the harness actually comes off really easy on this one. On the Mad Cats, so there's like a tab. They got a wedge of screwdriver in there and wiggle it back and forth. This one you just have to wiggle it back and forth. Not it's, uh, It came out really simple. Um, also, if you want to change the restrictor plate, it comes stock with a square or four point. Um, which I changed this to an octagon. Um, to change the restrictor plate is fairly simple. There are uh, these four tabs right here. Uh, they're on kind of opposite sides. You squeeze them in and it lifts right out and you can put the new one in place. There's also a round one too if you, you prefer that. Uh, I already went, went ahead and changed that like I said before. And I also changed the stick to the JLF quick release so uh, 
there is a spring release collar right here I pull up on and the whole stick comes off um, and it's I, I did it just because it was a new thing and I bought it but if you travel with it it's you know uh, you find it really handy to, to fit in bags um, that without that you had to uh, get a more specialty bag and um, with, with that you can just take the, uh, the top off and uh, it travels a lot easier. So if you if you were going to uh, change it, you know, change your art, you know, might as well think about other things you want to change. Buttons, sticks, uh, ball tops, because pretty much everything's got to come off anyway. The next thing to do would be to disconnect the buttons themselves. Now, um, if you notice, there are these plastic little sheaths that are on these quick connects. So they just slide off quite easily. And you want to get those off before you proceed. And this is where it takes a little bit of practice. And actually this came off really easy, but um, you give it a little pull, and a little wiggle, a little pull, and these will come off. Um, you gotta do, the, do that to all nine of the buttons. When the first time is usually the harder time, or the hardest time. Um, um, if they don't come off easily, um, you could use some needle nose pliers, um, but you go ahead and you go, go ahead and take off all nine of those, and you can take off the stick. You don't have to, um, but you definitely have to take off the buttons to change the artwork because there is a plexiglass cover. So after you have all, have all the buttons. Um, disconnected you're gonna have to take the buttons out themselves and so let's see if I can get it. and if you look if you look where am I at? here there are these there's a tab here and there's a tab here uh, in order to take these buttons out you have to press both of these buttons or both of these tabs in the one closest to the stick is usually the hardest Alright, so once you do that, you have just the button. Like I said, there are, this is what the button looks like at a time. So you're going to push these two tabs, it just pops out. So let me go ahead and finish taking these out and I'll continue on. Okay, once you got them all disconnected like this, I actually missed one, so once you got them all disconnected like that, and if you can see, they're all disconnected, you're going to flip it back over. Now, you'll actually have, if you get this quant, but this is what you'll actually have. Um, the, the, there's a, the plexiglass cover, and on the back, there is a label that they stick on. So, in order to take this off, you, I find it's easier to get one of these um, the screwdriver uh, for eyeglasses. Um, I think that works the best. But there are, it came like this, where the screws are kind of hard to see. And if you, that's what it came with. Uh, it's the like glue and then a sticker on top of that that's covering the screw. So if you get in there with a the screwdriver and um, you work the sticker back and forth until you break it free and then it comes off. And then you go ahead and take off all six of those. And then this whole piece lifts off. If you've never worked with plexiglass before, be careful because this does scratch easily. So, now I'm keeping the buttons and I thought it was going to be easier to keep the buttons in place. Because um, I'm just going to change the art. I'm keeping the buttons where they are in the stick. But uh, because of these tabs, um, it's holding into place. So... It's actually a lot easier to take it out this way. This is another option, not in the um, in the cabinet, but it's all personal per personal preference. And this is my old artwork. Did it in Photoshop. There is uh, I, I should I'll post a link at the bottom of a couple places we can get it. Um, it's it's a Photoshop document, so uh, well, 
else. Uh, and if you even if you don't have Photoshop, um, uh, you can go on there and on Photoshop's website, and you should be able to get a download a free trial for like a week or something. It's more than plenty of time to put art on here. There are other places who uh, will print it out and perforate the uh, edges so you come uh, when you get it. You can just pop out the holes and pop it out and just lay it in the place. But here's my new artwork because I end up switching the shoulder buttons. They had these two uh, were the rights, you know, right bumper and right trigger. And so they had the rights on the left and the left on left on the right. And I just switched them around because that's how I wanted it. So that's all it is. It just lays in the place. And from now you just kind of reverse everything. You put the plexiglass on top and you know it sits there. Everything else like I said is just reverse. So I'm going to go ahead and put the screws and the buttons back into place and uh, I'll pick up from there to how to rewire it. Purposely didn't finish it up on, uh, for a reason. When I was taking them out I forgot to say if you, if you never put them in before these buttons how it would feel and what it would look like. So I figure I stop here, pick it up from there. So I already did six of them. And if you flip over the back side, there are these two keyways here and here that the button fits into. And you pretty much can only fit it one way. It's uh, you're gonna line up these tabs, these tabs right here, and then line it up with the slots in the place and once you get into it it will you'll hear a snap and you'll see the the tab slide out and let me hear a snap snap and that's just try you want to try to put them in as level as possible and have them at the same time but if you one goes in first it's not that big of a deal um, and there's not an upside down or anything like that it really doesn't make a difference so I'll finish off with the last one so that's that's what it looks like when it's complete when also when you push it in you want to try to push on the base as opposed to the plunger also another thing when you're tightening or when you're putting the screws back on the plexiglass, glass uh, like I said before it is kind of fragile and easy to scratch so when you put your screws in, just put them in lightly. You don't need to, to you know, torque down on them and easily to, to crack this. And uh, then you're out uh, a, a cover. Like I got this one at um, Focus Attack. I think it was, might have been like $12. If you're adventurous, I think you can take the one that came with it and remove this label on the back with like nail polish and uh, like plexiglass uh, buffer. But I haven't got around to doing that yet, or I might not even, because I kind of use this as a template for uh, when I cut the, uh, the the new art out, and there are already a lot of scratches and uh, nicks and shit like that on here. So uh, this is kind of useless now if I want to keep it without scratches, because there are some pretty deep ones right in here, and it took very little effort to to put those in for your ball top. To when, when you were taking that off or actually putting it back on too. This would be in the controller or in, in the case itself and to take the ball top off you take um, a slotted screwdriver or a flathead screwdriver and stick it into the slot and you're gonna hold the ball top while you're holding the screw and you give it a quick turn and once it releases then you can take this out and then it just threads off like so and to, to put it back on it's quite simple uh, like I said screw it back into place until it stops uh, once you get close enough the whole shaft will start spinning and that's when uh, these give it and give a little uh, a quarter eighth of, eighth of a turn just enough to snug it up and it's going to be able to spin freely like that that's no problem that's what you want um, so I figure I'd show you that um, now if you want this quick release this is only available in well currently it's only available in the JLF model so if you uh, 
uh, like Sumitsu or um, I think Hat makes them too. They're um, they're not available for it yet. They won't work for some reason. Let's get back over here and rewire this. Now, from before, like I said, I, I already uh, I marked where everything is supposed to go. So I'm gonna reconnect everything. I usually try to start at the closest to the stick itself because that's the tightest one. You're gonna take these quick connects. You're gonna take the two colors that, that match. And it doesn't matter which order you put them on as long as one quick connect is on one uh, la or lug and the other one's on the other one. You don't want them to touch um, because if they touch uh, metal to metal uh, you're gonna get a uh, short and the controller or that particular button's not gonna work so keep that in mind when you put them back on and just like when you took them off um, you're gonna put them on and you might have to do some wiggling and you might hear it snap on the place which is perfectly fine um, and you go ahead and do the other one um, like I said doesn't matter which which one goes where as long as they're a matching set. Because um, if you put one of them on one button and another one on another button, both buttons won't work. Um, all right. Well, once you get them onto place, you slide the the plastic sheets back onto place, and. That is pretty much all there is to it. Um, like I said, just got to be careful with the wires. Uh, both them, take them off and put them back on. To not to take off any of the, the covering on the wire. Or disconnect it from the quick connect. But if you're pretty patient and... Um, all that stuff, it, it should be no problem to, and once you get them all disconnect, or disconnect, reconnected, it's just a simple of putting the, uh, the back panel back on, so uh, if you want to map the buttons differently, it is very simple, um, you just gotta keep in mind that, like, the red uh, wires are gonna be for your square, so, if you want the square down here, that's fine. Um, you might run into a little problem with the, the wire length. But um, you just basically put um, what command you want where. Move some of the, uh, move the shoulder buttons. I reversed them so the lefts were on the left and the rights were on the right. Alright, so they're all wired back up now. And the only thing left is just to put this back panel on, put my stick back onto place, and uh, I'm actually going to uh, test it real quick, and then uh, that'll be uh, the finished project. Alright, so uh, here I am uh, using it. Um, all my buttons, uh, you yeah. know. It is what it is, so I'm going to go to the screen real quick and uh, show you that. And I'll excuse the setup, I don't have my capture card connected, but I kind of want to make sure you hear you know, and see that it is actually working. So, see, all my buttons do work. Well, even though those are the, the right bump, uh, bumpers, so. So, that's a finished project, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask me. And uh, I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if I don't get back to you right away, uh, it's probably because I'm... Uh, work has got me tied down but uh, like I said thanks for watching and uh, have a good day